So today's topic is Snapchat game. So before anything, let me go ahead and uh, vent a bit. I've been wanting to talk about this topic for a while, but for some reason I've been putting it off, I've been procrastinating on it, and by me doing that, I've seen that other people have already talked about this topic and already brought it out. So that, teach you, that teaches you a lesson, which is whenever you have an idea, do it, because you never know when someone else can have the same idea and then put it out before you and then it seems that you're basically just copying their idea but anyways I still want to talk about it because I feel that I could still put my two cents in into this topic so let's get right into it right so basically snapchat game alright in this society where social media is so popular is so booming obviously you're watching me through YouTube so um, everyone has it especially especially snapchat snapchat has got so popular to the point that girls use it all the time we use it all the time as well you know we don't even take regular pictures anymore with a regular phone people rather take snapchat pictures and then they just go ahead and save it to their phones because they have the filters and whatnot and I guess makes them look better for some reason but anyways that's a catfish <laughs> that bitch ain't really bad that's a catfish <laughs> but anyway I, <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was but i'm sorry anyways um yeah so basically um uh, snapchat game since the since the app has got so popular and every single girl has it now on their phones they're so comfortable with giving you their snapchat instead of giving you their phones they rather give you their snapchat before they give you their phone number which I don't understand why I mean they're always on their snapchats and now on snapchat it has that little application that you can actually call them you could call them through snapchat and in case you didn't know that well now you know but yeah you could call them through snapchat now so I, I don't know why they feel more comfortable on giving out their snapchat before they give out their phone number and nowadays People will answer their social media before they answer their freaking phone. I mean, if you don't believe me, you could ask some guys out there that their girls, let's say that he texts his girl, right? He texts her, he texts her a message. And then he gets on Facebook. She hasn't replied in like in 10 minutes. And he sees that she just updated her Facebook, her Facebook status, and she still hasn't returned him a text. So they're always on social media. They social media is the first thing they check before they check their messages on their on their phones or before they check their phone calls. So I don't understand why women will give out their Snapchats. They feel more comfortable giving out their Snapchats with you know everything going on now. But because of that, Snapchat has become way better than actually getting their numbers because they're always on it. And see, whenever you're on their story, they could they could basically see your face all the time. So they kind of have a relationship with you in some way because they see your face all the freaking time. So they know your life. They know who your friends are. They know what you do. So they're more interested. They're like kind of investing in you just by looking at your Snapchat. And besides that, you could actually see who views your content, who actually sees your snaps. Not like, unlike Facebook that if they don't like it, you don't know if they saw it or not, right? And on Snapchat, you can actually see who watch your stuff. So I mean, if the girls that 
you're interested in or watching your stuff, most likely they're interested in you as well. So that's a pro, bro. But yeah, so if you, if I put it in that context, is much easier to get them to attract them over Snapchat because okay, whenever I get numbers and I usually don't really follow up on them, you know, because you know texting and being like where you at and da da da, you know what you're doing, you know, I'm, I'm not really a fan of that. Me is like if I want to meet you, I'll text you on that day and be like, hey, let's grab coffee or hey, let's, whatever. You know what I mean? I mean, most of the time I just said, let's grab coffee and it works almost all the time. But anyways, I'd be like, let's grab coffee. Meet me at da, 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 da. And usually the girl meets me up. So my thing is that if they don't reply, I don't invest any more time in them. You know, like if they don't reply back, like let's say that I just met them. I just met them one night at a club, right? And then I texted them and I said, hi. You know, well, basically what I do when I first get the number, um, I text them my name, Anthony. And so they won't forget about me, right? But for some reason, even when you send them that, there's still a possibility that they'll be like, who's this? Even though you just text them your name, you know, I don't know what the hell's going on in their minds, whatever. But anyways, um, so with Snapchat, it's not like they could do that. They know who it is. You send them a message, of course they know who you are. They just seen your snap. So you could go ahead and just send them a message and of course they'll know who you are. You know, even you probably made an even more impact on them than the first night they, that, that you saw. Them. And besides that, let's say that that you don't follow up on the text messages, like I said, because you just don't they don't reply. So you're just like, whatever, you know, um, and you just forget about them. You know, and obviously they forget about you as well. So you never ever again contact them. They never contact you ever again. And, you know, you just got a number for no reason, right? Well, with Snapchat, they're still there. You know, they, they're, I mean, they're, they're still watching your stuff. There's no such thing as a follow-up. You know what I mean? Because you don't even have to hit them up. You could just put a Snapchat story onto your Snapchat and they'll watch that. So it's like you're hitting them up. So it's like you're investing. You're still seeing how they're doing even though you're not asking anything and you're watching their stuff and they're watching your stuff. So you can get laid out of that. You know what I mean? One day just be like, hey, how's it going? Or hey, cute outfit. Or hey, I like what you're eating. Or whatever the hell you want to talk about. Just because you saw your snap, go ahead and send them something. And then they'll reply back, oh, hey, blah, blah, blah. And then you start a conversation. And like I said, they already know who you are. So they're not going to be like, who's this? You know, obviously they've seen they know who you are because they've seen your your Snapchat. So in one way, it's actually better than phone numbers. You know, so with Snapchat, you have basically you have um, a bigger chance of still being able to attract them girls and, you know, get late. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, and if you got text messages you know like i said i mean if you never follow up with them they probably just forget about you and i mean there's certain times that you text them and they'll text you back and you start having a conversation you tell her where you matter she'll tell you the same thing and next thing you know you hit it off but with snapchat it's more of a sure thing because they know who you are they seen you so they seen your life like i said before so they feel more comfortable with you so if you invite them out or let's say you having a party or basically, that's 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 another thing. It's a social circle. Whatever people that you have on your Snapchat have became your social circle. Now, whenever you're having a party or you're hosting a party or or basically you're going somewhere, you can hit them up and see if they're going to the same location and just hang out with them. I mean, you already got them on your Snapchat, so it's like they already know you, like I said. So that's another pro. So basically, that's what Snapchat game is. You know, so whenever you go out now, I mean, if you want to ask for the numbers, it's still cool. You know, I mean, go ahead and ask for the numbers. That's still, I mean, it's still relevant, but go ahead and ask them for their Snapchat. You know, they'll just be more willing to give it to you and you'll be less, you know, you'll have less anxiety about getting rejected because whenever you say, hey, picture, and they say, you know, they want to take a picture and then you just go ahead and ask them, hey, what's your Snapchat, by the way? 
And they were like, oh, well, I'll just take a picture with him, so might as well. Here's my name. Well, here's my Snapchat. And that's it. They see, you know, you have her in your stories. You see, you know, they, her daily life. You see who she is. You know, you could tell if you even want to take her out. You know, if you even want to take her out on a date or you even want to invite her anywhere. You know, so it saves you a lot of issues as well. So, yeah, man. That's what. So Snapchat game is pro. So next time that you go out, go out there and ask him for the Snapchat. And that's about it, man. So anyways, like I always say, thank you for watching. If you like this content and you think it's freaking awesome, even though that I know it's awesome, go ahead and subscribe. And until next time. Shh. DJ Khaled. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys.